What's going on, my beautiful, lovely people of the internet? My name is Kevin Mora, and thank you guys for joining us on Miraculous. Today, I have the honor of interviewing Mr. Ralph Lauren, yours truly, Dogfather Polo. What's yeah, up, bro? How yeah, you doing? I'm right here, just chilling. Chilling? You know? yeah. Chill yeah, I appreciate you for having me on here. I'm glad. No me. doubt, no doubt. You know, we had time. to get you on here because um, you're going up, bro. But let's take it back because people want to know a lot about you. How were you like growing up? Growing up, you feel me? I was just like one of those like bad. I was always smart, you feel me? Uh, so like, that was always my problem though. I was just always like, easily distracted. Uh, like, I was always the one like, trying to make everybody laugh in class. Like I was like, it was just bad my behavior. I was just always the one running. Were you a class clown or? I don't even know. Low key, I don't even know what I was. I was just like everywhere. I, I think low key like, I got like ADHD or something like that. Nah, uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know low key, but. Yeah. Just like never like I could never sit down, you feel me? Were you getting in fights a lot at school and shit? To be honest, fool, I'm gonna be real with you. I had never got into a, a fight fight until like my freshman year in elementary school, like middle school, whenever. Oh. Like I never had to fight nobody because like like not, I'm not even trying to like brag or nothing like that, yeah. but it's just that's just how it happens, you feel me? Like like I'll just hit them one time, you feel me, or two times. Either they drop or they'll cry. Oh, for you real? Me? Like, yeah, but that's like little kids. Like, that's why I never had my first fight until like, like my freshman year. So that's when it actually like they yeah. they fought back and every like other that. time like I would just take off, boom, boom, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like they're on the floor. I was about to you say like, like yeah. you're, you're pretty big. And yeah, shit, so I was you probably, probably intimidated a lot of people. Huh? I don't know if I intimidated them shit. That wasn't my intentions. You feel me? But yeah. people, I guess like they just felt intimidated by me. You feel me? So you're a bad kid growing up, but where did you grow up? I grew up in the city of HP. Huntington Park. Yeah, Huntington Park. Huntington Park. But what kind of music did you listen to growing up? I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I started listening to like like rap before anything. What kind of artist? Well, like like that I remember. You yeah. feel me? I probably didn't. Like I'm, I'm probably lying right Obviously now. Obviously, you your know? mom. Yeah, you know. You know? Her but like shit. what I remember, like me like liking my first. I remember it was like rap. It was like what like Lil Wayne was up. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I was a big fan of Chris Brown. For real? Yeah. Were you? God. Would you hit his dance moves though? Probably. Look, I probably would. Like, oh god, like, like, uh, uh, I'll probably do his like little hat trick. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. About? yeah. Oh god, you know. But like on some player shit, like, like I ain't gonna lie, I, I f with that shit. What I was like, I grew up listening to like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Eminem. Did you listen to like any Chicano type music, or you really didn't get into that? Nah, to be honest, growing up, I never did. Like. Probably like Lil Rob or like you know everybody knows Summer Nice. Yeah, like, yeah, you know? everyone, yeah Summer Nice. <laughs> you is feel me? Oh God, but he got he had some other songs that shit like back then. Type shit. Was that like listening to that music? Did it inspire you at that moment to want to start making music, or did that come later? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. Look, I've been writing shit since I was like in middle school. Like I remember even the homie like when I wrote some shit the first time, like it was like on some like player shit, and then the homie was like, "Hey, fool, like look at this sounds like like some Chris Brown." Shit. Really? Yeah, oh God, like but I'm telling you, like look, I was like I f that was music. Oh God, like I remember I was little. Kid, like, like we was in the swap me walking, and I bought that first c CD. Yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. in a white tuxedo, black shirt. Oh, with, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, like, yeah, that was like probably the first CD I bought. I remember like the Carter Three, my sister had those, but I remember that CD for sure. You have a very unique name, two unique names, you know what I mean? Yeah. You go by Dog Father Polo, right? But you're also Mr. Ralph Lauren, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel Mr. Me? Um, how'd you come up with those names? I got my name Polo, like, when I was younger, and shit. okay, well, I swayed in. I'm not gonna lie to you, like Swayden, like he like influenced that name type. Basically, like we were like little tigers back then. I remember I had a different name, and then I remember I wanted, I was like, I'm gonna switch it up, like that's not me. You feel me? Everywhere I would go, like I had, I always had like this polo hat. You feel me? Like this beige polo hat. Yeah. And then that's what I had, like spray cans, like paint all over it, like you feel me? Like I would just always rock that. So then I remember that was like, why don't you just call yourself Polo? And I was like, like just P O L O. He's like, nah, look, I for wrote it. He's like. L O H. Yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, I remember I said it, I seen that shit, and I was like, nah, I don't like that shit. And then I was like, fuck it, I got a spray can, and I just hit it up on the wall. I was like, yeah. All right, nah, I forget that shit. Where'd the dog father come from? Like, obviously, dog father, like, th that's like one of the most, like, Snoop Dogg's like, kind of albums, you feel me? I remember one time I was just picking out an Instagram name. This is before I went to jail. I was probably, like, still in high school, maybe. Yeah. Or fresh out of high school, maybe. I don't know. I remember I seen a post, and somebody had, like, like their family member had, like, a Bautizo and shit, you know? Like, they posted, oh, Padrino and shit. And I said it in English, I was like, Godfather. Like, that's kind of hard, you feel me? Cause I was looking for an Instagram name. So I was like, Godfather Polo. Like, I thought that I was like, Godfather Polo. Yeah. And I was like, nah, like, I was like, I'm not God. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so I like, like, I just changed it, like, like put it back. Instead yeah. of like, just putting 1G, like, I'm 2G, you feel me? I'm 2G, you feel me? You <laughs> 2G! Know what I'm so I was that dog, Father Polo. And then I came out of jail and I needed to drop my first song. And I was like, what's gonna be my stage name? And everybody kind of already knew me as Dog Father Polo on Instagram. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's what it is, you feel me? Yeah, Dog Father Polo. 
Mr. Ralph Lauren? I didn't even make that up. I was in jail my first birthday in 2020. I called my sister and I was like, hey, what's up? Like, like anybody posting me? Yeah. And she was like, yeah, like a gang of people like posted saying free you, happy birthday. She said people were posting a uh, happy birthday, free Mr. Ralph Lauren. Yeah. I'm like, what? I was like, that's Mr. hard as yeah. fuck. Like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, I never even thought of that. Yeah. I'm like, that's hard as fuck. Mr. Ralph Lauren. I'm like, for sure. So I told her, like, what? Like, put my, like, my IG name. You know, not my, like, username, but, you know, the IG yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, like, put that as Mr. Ralph Lauren. You feel me? Like, that's, that that's me. You feel me? That's me now. And oh. I had to come out fresh. I had to get that polo on me. You feel me? So you didn't get that where you're in there? You got that out? I got this fresh out. But I already knew in jail, I had said it. I was like, yeah, I'm going yeah. to get that polo chunky as fuck. I wanted to get it here. But one of the homies in jail, he told me, like, nah, we get that shit chunky on the side. I'm like, say less. You I'm also like, have some other like, tattoos. Yeah. You have, I see the HP one. Yeah, and then you also I got have the, the HP right here. And I got the, the, Part side. Yeah, That's yeah. like it's inspired by the by the new era. Yeah. Because part side has coming out soon, you feel me? And, and, and they not new era, they're part side. That you that's actually saying? very unique because I, I did you know notice saying? it was a new Shout era. Shout out Blasi. Blasi's yeah. the one that designed this. Oh for real? Yeah, he did he, he did he photoshopped this uh, uh this logo. Okay. Oh, Blasi yeah. be showing a lot of love. Blasi's the goat. Look, this is shirt right here. Oh god. Blasi's the goat. Oh god. Nothing personal. Go cop it. Yeah. Which one hurt the most? Like out of the tattoos that the polos or to be honest, none of them. I'm gonna keep it real though. This one don't hurt, like this side don't hurt, but I felt this one more. Uh -huh. Because when I got these two, I was drunk. When I first got this one, I got this in jail. Like, before it was shaded, I just got the yeah. outline. And that shit hurt like a bitch, fool. Okay, could you describe to people yeah, all what right. a gel tattoo is so, like? So, we got to, like, make our own ink. You just burn, like, baby oil. You feel me? And then all the, like, smoke that comes up, you collect it, like, in a build a little hut over it type shit. For real? Yeah. So, like, there's, like, a plastic bag. You feel me? You yeah. suck. It's soot. You put shampoo in the soot. Yeah. And then that turns into ink. You put it in a cap, like a Colgate cap or whatever. Yeah. And you put a little bit of shampoo in there and you mix it up. With what? What, what is it? A needle? Oh, yeah. Hand? You get like a what staple. A staple? A staple out of a magazine or whatever. You just sharpen that shit till it's like, like you, you can like put it in your skin and let it hang like it's like in your skin. For real? So it's just like one by one, like tap. Yeah. Like, you just, he in. just stabbed me. Like, that fool was just stabbing my head like with the ink. On a scale of one through ten. It's like four, How bad did it It's like four hours. I'm not gonna lie. It hurt. Like, it hurt like a motherfucker. For sure. Probably hurt more when that fool would wipe it because he was wiping it with a fucking county sock, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a county sock? Yeah. <laughs> Paid him like two chicken pouches. Two chicken pouches? That's like $10 in like, there. What inspired you to get into music? Sway, you feel me? Like, we just kind of like motivated each other. Like, we started at the same time. He had moved out from the city and shit for a bit. And, and when he was out there, like, he would just be riding a gang and shit. And I started writing too, like, cause I remember he said, "Hey, fool, I want to start rapping." I told him, "Like, hey, look, I know how to rap. I know how to write too. Like, we'll bump a beat on the speaker and record like on voice memos. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. the beat come out of the background and you're still spitting on the, into the mic. <laughs> yeah, and we'll send it to yeah. each other like that, and we're just right there, like motivating each other. Like, damn, fool, you hard as fool, you hard as fool. Yeah, yeah. But speaking about Sway, how how'd you meet Sway? I yeah. know, I know. That in like fifth grade fifth grade like 10 years old you guys yeah. were in the same class together or what nah nah he had just moved into my school yeah because he was new he barely moved to the city he had barely moved to hp we would, we would talk you feel me everybody every little kid talks in elementary yeah. you feel me like you guys know each other you guys were playing like four square like what the Nah, 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 nah. Like, we'll talk like in the lunch line. I remember, like, to like sixth grade, that's probably when I would talk to him more because he would start skating. And then, like, I would just be right there. Like, I remember, like, we'll kick it. You right were skating too? Like, I don't really, really skate, but, like, I would just, like, kick be around. Home, yeah, man. I would just yeah, be around yeah. there. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. I didn't start skating until like a little, I was like a little older. How did it feel when you first got recognized? Yeah, like someone came up to you like, yo, Polo, yeah, I fuck. Nah, I didn't even, it, didn't, it wasn't even like that. The first time I got recognized, I was in line at in and out put down the window because the lady, you know how they be right there with the little, the little pad, yeah, yeah. yeah, taking your order. So I put, I put the window down and then like, she like looking at her pad and then like, she looks at me, she's like, oh, like she's like you're polo like that for polo I'm like oh yeah and then and then some fool like comes and he's like smiling he's like oh shit. we was waiting in the line bro that fool opens up like the next lane for us he's like hey now nah, go ahead like you guys come for real? yeah you recently just dropped a song with phoenix flexing yeah how did that song collaboration happen shout out to me cypress you feel me i fool, uh, uh invited me to the studio i remember i put up and he's like hey bro you got like 15 minutes before this will comes if you guys don't uh hop in the studio in the next 10 minutes in yeah. the booth in the next 10 minutes then he's just gonna start recording i'm like say less i wrote that i wrote the hook for ooh like like fast as I was like, boom, and I hopped in and started recording it. And as I'm working on it, he walks in. So, boom, I finished my verse. They put the hook back. And then I go back, I'll go outside and I introduce myself. I'm like, oh, what's good? You feel me? He already heard of me and shit yeah. from my first song, Straight to Business shit. So, he right there showing love because he, he was sweaty, you feel me? He just told me, he's like, hey, bro, this is hard as He's like, uh, let me hop on this. And I'm like, what? Like, go ahead. 100%. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Yeah. We wouldn't want Phoenix yeah. Flexing. I first met you when we shot uh, Sway's first music video, No Cap. And after that, I didn't see you anymore. Yeah. What happened, man? I went to jail. I had caught a case, some little bullshit. You know, barred out a little. Shit. I did three years for that. Shit. That's love, though. I took five years for a 
Court at a Norwalk court, like people that fight cases and go to Norwalk court, they know what's up. Was that your first time going into like the to jail? Yeah. Nah, hell nah, nah. I had just got out from finding another case. I was all like like 17 days and then I ended up catching that case. It's a lesson for sure, cause it's like maybe I was just moving too fast and that shit slowed me down because I could have been in a worse situation. You feel me? I feel like if I if I wasn't in jail, I probably would have been dead. That's how I see it. Shit happened for a reason, oh god. What what lessons did you learn like when when you're locked up, bro? Like it, cause you said that you're moving quick. Would you say you're immature before you went into the jail? For and then sure. after that, you matured? For sure. I was ignorant like a mom. Ignorant. Like, I gave no f God. I could be disrespectful. And I would be like, nah, I ain't in the wrong. How did you learn that stuff? Or like, why are you inside? Was there um, someone that told you? Like, nah, low key, low key. Uh, 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 the homie showed me love. The homie showed me love as soon as I got there. Because they're like, all right, like, he ain't been locked up. You feel me? So they laced me up quick. So I knew how to act. I acted accordingly. You feel me? In reality, you just got to adapt to it more than anything, you know? Let's just say someone's about to get locked up and they're watching you right now. What are some tips that you could give them to know what not to do when you go to jail? Be aware of your surroundings. Respect always comes first, you feel me? More than anything. As soon as you step foot into the county jail, you're a grown man. So you're gonna handle it like a man, you feel me? Chin up, chest out, you feel me? Yeah. Would you ever see like people cry in there? In jail? Yeah, like- Hell nah, don't nobody cry in jail. No? I seen somebody cry, bro, I ain't finna lie. I seen somebody cry, and we just clowning on that for like- He was yeah. crying because of like him being in jail or like his family member Yeah, died? nah, he or was just crying, I think, over his <laughs> fool. Yeah, like he wanted to go home already. He was supposed to get released like a day ago. Uh -huh. The day before, and he didn't get released, so he was still there, and he was crying. They caught him like that night, you feel me? So everyone's straight-edged in there. Everyone's, like, serious as f Nah, motherfuckers having fun, you feel me? Like, you learn how to live with people, you feel me? You gotta learn to live with people because you're there with multiple personalities. So one day, somebody could just wake up mad, you feel me? Yeah. Like, you're, you're there with people that's fighting all day. They're fighting their life. So you gotta learn to always be respectful. You gotta learn to, to move accordingly, you feel me? You can't act right. the same way with everybody because not every personality is the same. And you can't always just everybody you feel me you, you gotta learn to be aware like who you can who you can't who to stay away from who to, who's really your homie or who's not you feel me because at the end of the day you in jail you feel me like you there for yourself so like what type of people were you locked up with you were locked up with like people uh murderers and shit like that i locked up with the homies fool is it crazy though you guys are in like dorms right with bunks all over the place yeah there's like people in the same dorms that are essentially killers right well they're fighting cases and shit like that for murder like, there's, there's different people fighting different cases in there for sure and how are these people like when you interact with them Some people ain't normal when you're in there your reality is just jail you figuring out what you finna do that day there's no time in there you forget about time you're just in the motion going through the motion the best thing you can do people just get comfortable you feel me people like not get comfortable but people trying to uh, make the best of it because they're stuck there they just learn to live there you feel yeah me? so like they learn to move around like obviously more they're gonna be depressed for sure a lot of fights happening right oh yeah have you ever denied like a fight yeah okay. nah. i got done with talking because of a sandwich a sandwich yeah like like a lunch sack what the okay so what happened like why would you fight someone over a sandwich well that's how it started that wasn't really what it was about but that's what it, yeah, that's yeah, how it started yeah. every sunday we do uh south side spreads you feel me yeah, yeah. For, like the, the people that don't go to the store like, yeah they, they don't have commissary so we make a big spread like to show unity amongst each other, you feel yeah. me? That day, we always donate our lunch sack. So we get chips and bologna or ham or cheese or whatever the fuck, and we donate it for the spread so we could like all cook together, you know? Yeah. I had traded my juice for my sandwich. So they asked me like, hey bro, you didn't donate your sandwich? I'm right there like, bro, like I look at the nigga like, the fuck? Like, bro, I'm right here like, I traded my juice, you feel me? Yeah. But I said it like that. I was like, bro, I traded my juice for this. And then that feel like, felt some type of way, right? Long story short, after like talking for like some bullshit, Behind me just walks up to me like, hey fool, like you wanna get down with this fool? You wanna like, he wants to get down with you? So I'm like, fuck it. So like they said we could get down, boom. We just squabbled up. For real, so you said they said we could squabble up? Like, is there like a, a process that has to go in before nah, like, nah, people nah, fight? Nah, 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 It's just like, you can't get caught. So you gotta like wait for the time, like, you feel me? The homies are right there, like everybody's like covering, like blocking and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, all right, like they're not looking, they're not looking. And how does the fighting process work? Does it, shit, you get first down. person who gets you dropped get down. or what? Nah, 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 it's like whenever you like, all right, you good? Like, yeah, fuck it. You talked about the little sunday spreads and stuff like that did you yeah. ever cook up bro i'm a chef i make burritos wraps tacos pizza nachos ceviche i mean they're chefing it up bro yeah, yeah, yeah. i probably you should make a video like that you feel me i'll probably make cook some shit up y'all want to see a polo cooking up video let you us know in the oh comments god section what y'all want to see i can make burritos whatever i can make a fucking prison cake whatever yeah, you feel yeah, me yeah. like man i'll chef it up oh god thank you so much bro i really appreciate you you know what i mean pulling yes, up sir. to do an interview uh where could they find you on social media yeah they can find me on instagram at dogfather polo d-o-double-g-f-a-t-h-e-r-p-o-l-o-h well you heard it here first guys Guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button let us know in the comment section below who we should interview next and if you haven't already subscribed 
What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. My name is Kevin Mora. This is Dog Father Polo. Oh, Parsa, baby. Out. Yeah, go subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>